Okay. Uh, my name is Nate D'Amico. I'm representing the Apache Software Foundation and the Apache Big Top Project. Um, I'll give you a little bit of an overview of what Big Top is. How many people are familiar with Big Top and or other Apache Foundation projects? Um, it's one of the largest uh, big data uh, hosting of uh, open source projects, things like Hadoop, HBase, Spark. Um, and then uh, some people from Open Power have done an initial port so that Big Top can build distributions for um, Open Power users. So uh, Big Top was started out of the Hadoop and uh, HDFS team at Yahoo. Um, it wasn't called Big Top at that time, but they started to build uh, tooling and frameworks for building their own internal distribution. Um, a couple of the core guys ended up moving on to Cloudera, who was the first commercialized Hadoop distribution. Um, while they're at Cloudera, they built um, what is now Big Top, open source it to the foundation. So um, over the past four plus years, Big Top is basically setting the standard for testing, packaging, and integration of all the big and now what's dubbed as fast data components such as Spark and um, things like Flink as well. Um, and Big Top, um, everything's kind of treated as like a component. So every project is dubbed a component. And uh, so, kind of mentioned a couple already. Um, these are kind of some of the more popular ones. Uh, there's about 26 in total. Um, we have a couple more coming on in time for ApacheCon in a few months here. And really what you get is, um, once you start using one or more of these components together, um, you kind of have this matrix across the top of uh, supported platforms at the OS level. And down the left side, you have the 20x components in Big Top. So then when you take another dimension of versions, you have quite a big dependency mess. So Big Top kind of brings it all together into a framework. So as you can see, like from Ubuntu down to Debian at the end, um, the Open Power people came on and did um, yet another one for um, uh, Debian on power. So solving this kind of dependency build test deploy problem uh, it was heavily focused on the proliferation of big data and Hadoop distributions. Um, the space has kind of consolidated down to a couple of core players. And at this point, from a project perspective, kind of the first generation of the project has its kind of mission accomplished. So every major Hadoop distribution in the world is based on Big Top in some way, shape, or form. Uh, some of the most recent ones is Amazon ported over EMR to Big Top last year. And um, just recently, last week, uh, ODPI, which is kind of the uh, pivotal Hortonworks IBM consortium of uh, standardizing the Hadoop world, um, that was just announced, the V1 release, that is now based on Big Top as well. So as we look ahead, um, it, it's great to solve the problems for um, the distribution folks. But uh, we're kind of saying like, okay, well now people are saying like, I have all this data, I have this tools to store it, now what um, can my data engineers do with it? So we're starting to look and bring people in the community that are doing things like uh, test data generators and um, um, other fun tools and tutorials and such. Uh, we're also looking to enhance the um, operations and deployment side. So out of box, all the big top modules come with Puppet modules um, and um, if you're not a Puppet user, you can roll your own as well using the same templates for configuration, um, but you can get those off the shelf. So we're looking at starting to add things like orchestration and um, uh, we've been adding a lot more uh, container and Docker-based stuff as well. Um, so covering, that kind of gives you a brief overview of Big Top. So um, the Power folks pr put together a few slides on their efforts from a couple months ago leading and they're still kind of uh, tuning some stuff. So um, their original goal was to get some of the big data components running in their lab. And uh, specifically, the test case example was HDFS and Spark. And um, luckily, the, they'd have to start from zero with um, OpenJDK, which kind of Big Top prescribes as kind of the default um, for the JVM. Uh, with that port, it kind of gave a nice foundation. So. Uh, it took a couple weeks um, to get the initial kind of uh, bugs out. Um, and uh, at the time, there was 24 components. Uh, they got most of them working. There's a few more patches pending that hopefully we'll get in the next release in time for ApacheCon. 
Um, so uh, if you're not too familiar, like uh, just like all good open source projects, um, a lot of the Apache projects, uh, some of them can be quite complex um, to build from source yourself. Sometimes you might just want to do it. Um, you might be into kind of learning the innards of how the systems are built and work. Sometimes you have to based on constraints on versioning, platform support, or um, concerns that security or otherwise that your organization might have. Um, lots of dependencies, varying tools across the projects, and then when you bring all of them together, that's where the kind of the permutations explode. Um, so Big Top, basically, the repo itself comes self-contained with everything you need, and then they just prescribe a list of, component, of uh, packages that the components will depend on. Um, then everything else is in the source tree, so you can just clone uh, one of the release branches and start uh, building away. Um, so kind of looking at it, um, kind of like uh, a lot of people not, might not want to dig in the weeds, so um, up-leveling the experience, as I kind of referred to a couple slides ago, um, we're kind of moving towards a mode where we say, like, well, unless you really, really need to, you're not going to build your whole environment from scratch. So just set up a Dockerized environment on a supported platform, clone down the kind of Uber uh, big top um, um, image, and uh, clone whatever version or branch of big top you want. And um, all that's publicly available. So instead of having to do the setup yourself now, you can kind of get it all in kind of one shot. Um, basically, uh, two steps to kind of get your environment set up with this. Uh, clone and then run the container. This is, of course, assuming that Docker is running um, functionally. And at the end of the day, what BigTop wants to do by default is it wants to, um, you can tell it to build the whole kitchen sink. So you can say, build, uh, just build everything for me. And that would be like the default. But you can also tell it to say, just build Spark for me. And there's little definitions that say, well, Spark depends on these other three things. Um, and then you can even create your own custom definitions if you're adding um, your kind of own third-party components. Um, so let's say you were going to build like uh, Spark. Um, it would build uh, you know, the master and kind of worker packages. And um, at the end, what it's going to do is it's going to, if everything passes, it'll build and spit out. Um, in this case, this example would be Debian packages. And um, it'll basically build a local host repository. So immediately afterwards, if you wanted to, you could just install directly from um, the local host repository. Uh, what we do as a community, uh, we have some infrastructure that's sponsored by Amazon. So um, you can basically build um, it yourself. If you want to get going, you can actually just install the packages. Um, at the end of the day, everything is um, uh, Debian and RPM packages for the platforms. Um, this is kind of the current. It's a little out of date, um, but uh, based on Big Top's 1.1 uh, release, uh, some of the guys from Open Power, they got all these working except for the two uh, Tez um, and uh, Zeppelin, which is a kind of uh, collaborative notebook research uh, type project. So those are kind of the last two. Uh, components that will be coming for 1.2, which is probably going to be around May or June, um, if not sooner, depending on. Um, we have three, two or three new components that are coming in, so we're trying to time it all for uh, the conference. So if any of you are looking at or interested in um, any of that on the list, um, you basically get that for free now in Power, thanks to the community members. Um, so we're look, kind of looking forward to. Um, ongoing collaboration where um, components are being added every few months, um, especially as new projects come into the, it's not, it's not restricted to Apache Foundation projects, but typically the majority of the big data ones are ending up there. Um, and uh, the Open Power guys, they kind of um, said one of the biggest benefits for them was building um, flexible uh, build and test lab. So um, since that's at the core of Big Top, um, again, kind of up-leveling the experience, we basically, um, by default, we'll leverage uh, Jenkins as a CI. And um, they set up um, uh, Jenkins slaves, which will deploy um, in, in our hosted community environments running on AWS. If you're running um, 
in a physical environment or OpenStack or vSphere, you can use one of the, the plugin providers to deploy the nodes for you. Um, and that will deploy kind of the build worker nodes. And that allows you to parallelize um, kind of your build environments. So uh, if you have a very simplified environment, you can run it all kind of single host style. Um, but uh, if you're building uh, multiple um, either x86 or variants of, um, of OSs, it'll stand those up and it uses the same kind of all-in-one uh, Docker container that you can use yourself just for kind of learning purposes. And um, all that's integrated. We provide all the, um, the job um, stuff open source as well. Um, if you have kind of tweaks, you can always just kind of contribute a patch back. And um, this is kind of uh, another example of kind of we're trying to up-level it. So uh, not just the distribution guys, but now um, operations teams that are trying to provide build and test infrastructure for uh, data engineers can uh, provide something that's repeatable uh, across um, a range of versions and uh, OSs. And uh, that's it. Um, any questions? Okay, thank you.